This patient came in with pain associated with tooth number 30. He had a previous root canal here, you can see it as a crown. And he said the root canal was done probably about 20 years ago. And he recently just started having biting pain and some pressure here. So you can see that whenever they did the original root canal, they could not get all the way down to the apex. And it looked like there could be some pathology here, but it's kind of unclear. So we decided to do a um, limited field of view 3D CBCT on this case here. And we can see tooth number 30. And we can see it has a previous root canal here. So as we take some more information, as we look at the coronal slice, we can see here that the mesial buccal canal stopped really short. So it's about six millimeters short from the apex. You can see the mesial lingual actually is short probably by another three or four millimeters. So we see the pathology also here on the limited field of view 3D CP, CBCT from the coronal slice. And if we take a look here at the sagittal slice, we can see the papercal pathology here. So we decided to do a retreatment on this case. And I'm gonna tell you, man, this was hard. This is a very difficult retreatment. And we probably used maybe about 80 to 90 hand files to get to the apex. So this is what it was like um, before and this is after. Got a nice result. We got everything cleaned out, sealed to the end of the root, and we can see the mesial bulk and mesial lingual join in April 3rd. And for you guys who like lateral canals and puffs, which I don't, because it actually creates more work for the body to take care of, here you go. There's a little lateral canal, a little puff, you guys. Take care.